Okay, so line up middle toe with the knees. Just draw the tailbone down and take a breath in. <laughs> trick or treat? It's a trick, I have got trousers on. Good. Just your right arm, circle back. And the left. Keep going like that. Because I'm not happy with that. Both arms circle back. I think that's all right. Just two more. Good, and just circle the head around all the way. Other direction. So nice chill music tonight. And lift up and stretch and just go right to left there. Good, all the way through. And then just bringing those arms down, dropping the chin to the chest and slowly roll through the spine. All the way down. Take a breath and slowly up. Last four. Thank you. 
reach for the toes and walk it all the way forward into your downward dog position and just hold the stretch. Pressing your heels into the floor and just gently pedal through. Good, and keeping those heels grounded. Hold both heels down and drive your hips away from you. And I just want you to gently rock forwards and backwards. When you feel ready, slowly drop to the mat, bending the elbows, come all the way down. Hands come either side of you, lift the chest, looking all the way up. Press your hips through to the floor. And slowly come down. And again, slowly lifting up, shoulders away from the ears and stretch. And release. Curl your toes underneath you, push back up into your downward dog. And just hold it there. Bending your knees, walk your hands through to your toes. And slowly unfold. Rolling your shoulders and back. Good. Okay, so if you've got your pumpkin, just pick it up. If not, a weight. If not, nothing. Just as you are. Mini balls, fine. Okay, so keeping your feet hip distance. Just want you to drop slowly. So even if you're not holding on to anything, I want you to think about engaging your abs. And just sitting on the hips right back. Engaging. Definitely, if you've got a weight or a heavy ish pumpkin, you're going to feel this through your waist. Good, keep going. Just a couple more. She threw her pumpkin across the floor. I rolled it out. Holding your pumpkin at the bottom, I want you to rotate left and right. Just some lower back release there, keep going. Let's just check you guys online, you all okay? Everybody good? You see my lit up cats, don't mean you can see them very well. When you're ready, come back to the centre and just slowly unfold. And then extend again. Okay, you don't have 
two, bring it down and stir that cauldron all the way around, really big. elbows underneath you come into half or full plank and fold. Good, push back into those toes on your elbows and hold it there. So just find your breath. As you exhale, pulling your belly button away from the floor, slowly drive your hips up. And release. Good. And again, lift up. And release. And again, lift up. And release. Just two more. And release. Last one. And just come all the way down, bringing those hands back to where they were. Nice and wide over the mat, take a breath in, come up on each step and extend your front of the spine. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. And come all the way down. Elbows come underneath. Come back and hold. There's a nice strong engagement there. Right back up, slow. 
slowly. Imagine somebody's pulling those hips away from the floor and drop flat back. And again, lift. And again, lift. And drop. And drop and hold it there. Just four, three, two, and come down. This time I want you to push all the way back and into your heel. And stretch forward. releasing through that lower back come all the way up to your hands and into your cat stretch there so tuck under when you're ready just step forward with your right leg and come into a hip flexor stretch Trying to extend that back leg as far away as you can. When you feel ready, reach that left arm in front, stretch. Rotate up, turn. And forward. And again, reach up, turn. And forward. And again, stretch, lift. Open that chest and come back. Breathing into this last one, over. Challenging, holding that body weight, bring the hands back to the center and step back into your foot plank and hold. Drive your knees in and away. In and away. In and away. Keep going. Three more, two, and one. Knees come wide, feet together, and into your child's pose. Pushing the heel of the hands away. Get that stretch underneath the shoulders. Under 
and all the way and lie through and stretch it out. over onto your bottom. Okay, so you need your pumpkin if you've got one. I'm just going to cradle the pumpkin. Can you see mine? <laughs> Do all the label on. Okay, slowly roll down. Hold the pumpkin nice and close to your chest or your dumbbell. And when you're ready, rolling back up. Sit tall at the top and again roll down. Exhale, roll up, push the lower back down and sit tall. Good. And again, roll down. Coming up. Lift your pumpkin and then round the back and hold a half roll back. And tap. So the weight here intensifies the move. It's just those arms, side to side. So if you've not got a heavy weight with you, just lean back a little bit further if you can. Last eight, seven. Roll back, cradle that pumpkin to the chest. I'm going to take the weight all the way over the top and stretch. Try and keep the back from coming off the floor. Take the breath in and come up, bring that weight over, bring your right knee in. And away. Over. All the way over there. Exhale, come up, left knee. And away. Over it goes. So keep going, alternating those legs. And away. Up, up. Now just hold that half roll back again there. Hold it. Now this is going to be a challenge. Balance your pumpkin. Goes under the inside. Under, inside. Got that? My God, this is heavy. Does anyone want to try it? Feel free. It's not my workout. You sure? Anyone? <laughs> Last one. Roll back. Stretch over there. Okay, so holding as you are, reaching the arms away. Just gonna slowly lift my right leg off the floor, all the way up. And then slowly lift the left leg now. Things I want you to think about, keeping that lower back engaged to the mat, abs really strong. So right leg slowly comes down. Slowly, left leg slowly comes down. Now it's at that point you don't want that back to lift. If you are lifting, can you just do this with bent knees? Slowly lift. So you just shorten that lever. And just keep going as you are. Now if you want to really make this quite, quite a bit more intense actually, if you've got a weight, Lift that weight off the floor about four or five inches and just keep going with the legs. Now this is going to really challenge your shoulders. So I'm keeping those arms lifted, that's really tough. Exhale on that effort. Might need to soften those elbows. Lift. And lift and slowly drop. 
drop and slowly drop. When you're ready, roll all the way up. Forward fold and reach for the tucks. Drop the head all the way down. Take a breath in, lift that pumpkin all the way over the head, knees soft, in a half roll back position there. Don't drop it on your head, whatever you do. You almost got to push and throw it across the other side. Now, I'm really trying to stabilise hips here, so I don't roll all over the place. I'd love to turn the camera. You should see they've all got lights around them. You keep going, I'm just gonna let them have a look at you. I bought them trick or treat sweets as well. Don't know if you can see it. <laughs> Not even sure who is on with me actually. Two more. Last one. Stretch over the head, good. Okay, you can leave your pumpkin there for now. Oh. Leave it there, good. Just a quick stretch. Lengthen, fingers away, toes away. I'm just gonna bring both knees up and into the chest. Hug them in really tight, get some release through the lower back, straighten those legs up. Point and flex. I'm going to pull both legs over the top. Or just hold those legs extended in the air. Push those shoulders down. Slowly roll bend in those knees as you come down and work your way through the spine. And then go straight into a double leg slide. So those legs go away, arms go away. Take a breath and bring them all back. Do another leg slide, so away. Engage the abs, keep the back connected. And slide everything back in. Picking the feet off the floor, go all the way back up, extend the legs. Either hold them there or come all the way over and fold. Slowly work your way down through the spine. Okay, I'm going to keep those knees bent this time. Arms wide and straight to your knee rolls across. Go as far as you can, taking a deep breath before you come back across and use your waist. All the way across. Feel that lower back release and feel your waist working. Try and keep your shoulders connected. Okay, I'm going to add a little challenge here. When you next come over, can you just hold the legs across to one side, shoulders connected? That top leg, can you bicycle it? Very slowly, a bicycle motion. You've got to really pull those abs back through strong. Knees together and slowly come across to the other side. All the way. And over. And hold, shoulders connected when you're ready, bicycle. Those shoulders connected, that's really important. Bring the knees together, let's go to the other side. Keep them close together, those knees. Keep the shoulders connected. When you're there, bicycle. Let's take it across. 
das Last ein. All the way over. And cycle. Good. And bring those knees back in. Arms by your side, push your heels into the mat, and squeeze your buttocks, lifting your hips off the floor into your shoulder bridge position. Make sure your hips are level and just hold it there. Little squeeze up and tap halfway down and lift and drop. And again, lift and drop, and lift, and come all the way down, okay, if you dare, take your pumpkin and pop it in between your knees, that's going to be a strong old grip with those inner thighs, what you don't want it to do is drop anywhere near your face, <laughs> or anywhere actually, so get a good strong grip. This is going to really make you work those inner thighs. Don't burst your pumpkin, whatever you do. <laughs> Has anyone got that much of a strong grip? <laughs> okay, come back into shoulder bridge. See if you can keep hold of it. It's a slippery little sucker. Okay, inner thighs really working hard there. And just hold those hips lifted. Even if you've got a light pumpkin or a mini ball, you can squeeze it. Just so you can feel your inner thighs connecting. I'm going to do little pulses at the top. So it's quite an isolated move. Tiny squeeze. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Just hold it lifted. Hold it. Another set. Pulse. Squeeze, squeeze, eight, seven, six, that should be burning now, especially yours Claire, hold it, because you've got a heavy one like me, and slowly roll back down, take that pumpkin out, <laughs> pop it away. And bring the soles of the feet together and just let those knees open and just rock from left to right. Having our legs in this position turns off the hip flexors so that we can now really isolate the lower abdominals. So take the hands behind the head and just allow those legs to stay relaxed. And just give me a crunch there. So lift and release. And again, lift. you just need to slide the legs a little bit further or your heels a bit further away just get comfortable with it so those legs can fully relax just two more and now hold those shoulders lifted and reach both arms out in front I want you to swim up and down up and down One arm and two arms. Now if you're feeling any strain through the back of the neck, just take those hands back behind the head. Last four. Keep tucking under. Hands go back behind, slow lift. Release. If you need to rest out, rest out. Six. more. Now I'm going to ask you to do something that's going to be tough and you might actually want to take hold of your weight. It will make it easier. Try and roll up from there if you can. So you've got to keep those knees wide. I don't even think I can do it. I've got to be honest. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> Come up, push the lower back down. Whoa. Feel the difference? Try again. Roll down. Take my pumpkin over. 
And then I'm going to use that weight as I come back through. Push that lower back down, tuck under, roll up, sit tall. Nice. And again. We're nearly there. I have absolutely no idea what the time is though. Somebody? Half past. Is it? We did start a little bit late. Just bend the underneath knee. And come all the way up into side flank and hold. Lift the top leg. Crunch the knee in and then push away. And again, in and away. And again, in and away. Two more. Rounding the back and extend. Last one. Hold that leg extended there. Circle it. We feeling this? Hold it. Remember that bicycle. Hold it and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five. Lift that hip. Down. Bring that underneath knee forward. Take the back leg or the top leg back. Sit forward and stretch. Knees in line, up you come and hold. Lift the top leg. Ready, crunching. When you extend, keep that leg at hip height if you can. I think we did enough of these this morning, Elaine, didn't we? <laughs> and again. Come on, big cycle. Push that heel away. Push that heel away. Two more. Hold that leg straight and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, come down. I'm just thinking to myself, bring that underneath leg forward, top leg back. I'm thinking to myself, I've got legs, bumps and tums tomorrow. Yeah. How am I going to cope with that? Ooh, breathe into the stretch. Turn on to your back. 
stretch it out, arms over the top. Just point and flex your feet. Circle your ankles. Opposite direction. Bring your right knee into the chest. Hug it in really tight. Right elbow goes around the front of the leg. Left hand, grab hold of your ankle and pull really tight to benefit from this stretch. Really push some force into it. Breathe into that stretch. your tummies. One last stretch through the front of the spine, arms are wide, hands to the floor, take a breath in as you exhale, lift up. Push those hips down and drive your shoulders down through the centre of the back. And release slowly down. Just going to take hold of one foot, bring the heel to the bottom, the other one if you can, otherwise you'll do both one at a time. I'm going to allow my back to arch, but then I'm going to concentrate on tucking under, pushing my tailbone towards the floor, pulling my heels to my bottom and pushing my knees away and just relax the head down. Feel that stretch come through the fronts of those thighs, breathing into the stretch. Lifting the chest up when you're ready and if you want to, pulling your thighs off the, sh off the shore, floor, and pulling your shoulder blades together, opening through the chest. And release. Hands come underneath you, feet together, push back and sit through. and then coming all the way up onto your knees. Curl your toes underneath you so your knees stay wide. Elbows, you just push, you have to position your hands, but just push those knees as wide as they'll go with your elbows there. Drop the head down, release the knees so they come forward. 
and you're going to slowly, slowly unfold. I'm going to stay kneeling because of the camera. Roll those shoulders back. And just drop the shoulders through the centre of the back and circle the head around. And the opposite way. To the centre, take one arm up. Take the other arm up. Swing down. And give yourselves a clap. Oh, well done. No.